The Army's 5-1 Cavalry is training with the Air Force during Red Flag 14-3. Red Flag Alaska provides the opportunity um, to train our folks at, from the platoon level all the way up through the collective level in a way that I've never seen uh, before in my career. U.S. Air Force and Air National Guard JTACs working with the 5-1 CAV called in airstrikes to red flag pilots. I, I mean, I've got some gung-ho uh, JTACs that are sitting there that have the ability to make tactical decisions. Jack 5-3, clear hot. And bringing the full might and power of the United States Air Force to bear at the point and choosing of that ground commander so we achieve the effects that he wants. That relationship is critical, and this is one thing that we've learned. On the previous deployments, um, a lot of times you would deploy overseas and they would join you in theater. You didn't have that time to train up with them. And then through exercises US like this, you, you know, Bravo, the five, training, three, seven, synchronization, um, when we deploy, we're just that more, much more effective. Really that that integration um, of all task forces, whether Army, Marines, Air Force, is really what helps us win wars. And um, so exercises like Red Flag are extremely important um, for all of us. Just as, a, as an example, the mortars that we were watching uh, fire uh, while the airstrikes were being coordinated, I've been flying an A-10 for at least a year and a half, and that's the first time that I've actually seen that happen. So to actually see that and process that integration uh, is awesome for us as well as for the RD guys. From the Yukon training area, I'm Senior Airman Ross Alexander Whitley.